Dun 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 dun. Okay, good morning. It's another beautiful day in Yakushima. Here's breakfast. We've got a bit of egg, salad, meat, some fish, some pickle stuff to go with the rice, and we've got a view of the ocean. Another area where you have your coffee, and uh, this place has got an even better view. Looking down the river, there's somebody on a stand-up paddle down there. The restaurant's just down below there. Look up the river to the mountain. And if we turn right, we've got a view of the ocean. Which where the sun is at the moment, you can't see as well, but still a very nice view. It's like two bridges. Bridge there, bridge there. Backup bridge. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have a coffee and we're gonna get out and explore. First place we're checking out. You might be able to work out what it is by the noise. Rojin Notaki Fall, a waterfall in the Yakushima National Park. So we've just driven up to this one, parked the car over there, and here's the waterfall. The ocean's over there. If we go a little bit further over here. There it is. Rajin Nataki. It's only about 10 past 8. So this will probably look a bit better later on um, when the sun's over the top of it more. But we've got a lot to see, so we're looking at it this looking at it at this time. That's good. There's less people on the road as well in the parking. Anyway, we've got lots of waterfalls to check out today. There's about ten, I think. <laughs> Onwards and forwards. Check out more stuff. We're also doing a um, ocean onsen, which will be awesome. Senpiro waterfall, and what's going on here? Okay, so this waterfall is also a place where you climb up to Mount Mot Mochumu. Up there. <laughs> but we're going to walk down this nice paved parking to the waterfall down here. One behind. Oh yeah. There's like some stairs down there, darling. Right about there on the right hand side. Wonder how you get down there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Wow, very nice. Okay, so this is how you go down there, but unfortunately it's all blocked off at the moment. So we've got a good excuse not to climb all the way down there. It's amazing how so much water is coming down there. We're only on a small island really, and basically that's the top of the mountain there, but. I guess like when you look at the side here, you can see all the water dripping down the sides. We haven't had any rain, but it's just coming out of the land and feeding into here, like it would be up there and further around the corner. Wow, that's a really nice one. Okay, I've just climbed up to another lookout. You can see the ocean from here. And if we turn around, there's another angle on the waterfall. It's 
this is just on the other side of the where you park you can get another point of view cool okay so the waterfall which is closest to the ocean is a bit hard to find you park at this cafe which is just before the bridge that's over here so you see that bridge and then you park in this cafe and across the road you've got this path next to this green thing and we go down here for the third waterfall then we would have conquered all the waterfalls along here this is the Tohoki Tohohiki no Taki something like that I think I just butchered Taroki no Taki you can't see from there oh sorry further down okay a little bit of little bit of climbing down for this one and it's a bit of a walk 10 minute walk or something five ten minutes not long we should be able to see from just over here we need a place where there's no trees so this is beautiful but the sun's up a bit higher now so you can really see the color in the water the tree there's that bridge just up above be a nice place for a swim if you could get in and out without dying <laughs> well worth the walk I thought it was going to be a lot further but it's not bad at all awesome We took a bit of a wrong turn looking for a waterfall and came across this road with a big landslide on the side. Check out that, you can hear water down there. I would not like to be walking along here when that landslid. Look at that. It have been pretty full on and you can see a pile of rocks in there as well. Wow. Anyway looking for a waterfall it's coming down the road from that wrong turn we've got this crane in a rice field looking around for I don't know I don't know what they eat maybe frogs or something it looks really cool I just had to stop and film him oh there he goes up to check out the next rice rice paddy Nice. And that's the ocean out there. Just heading back to the coast road. All right, we're um, not going to do that waterfall. We've seen a few waterfalls. The other one's a bit of a hike, so we're going to go to the Ocean Onsen. We're heading down to the Ocean Onsen. A little bit of a river there says stuff here there's somebody here but they're still in the car this is the Hirochi Keichu Onsen and there's a house here what the hell I guess we're gonna walk down past here get a house right on the oh there's another road I guess that's their driveway that might actually be a restaurant or something Must be a restaurant, darling. Cool place, right on the ocean here. Okay, this is the ocean onsen just down here. It looks like we've got it to ourselves. It is a $2 donation for the conservation thing and you have to wash yourself here first. Hiroshi Kaichu Onsen. Sorry about pronunciation, I'm sure it's really bad. Look at that huge boulder there. Isn't that rolling down here? My god. Probably made the road. There used to be another onsen here. Looks like yeah, there's a few more and they've been they must have been destroyed by earthquakes or something. Check it out. 
some writing over there. It's a Kakiku Do. Uh, can't make out the next one. Try and read it later. But yeah, uh, it looks like they did have some other onsen set up here and it's been destroyed. The earthquake. Maybe some of these boulders rolled down on the last earthquake. Little volcanic black rock. Interesting. Nice and warm. Well, it's an onsen, natural onsen. So it's right on the ocean here and you have to come here when it's low tide so that the ocean's not washing in and cooling it down but there's actual natural hot spring water which is flowing into these onsens. Now Fumi's going to get naked. Are you taking that off? I'm going in my shorts I think. <laughs> All right let's try this out. Okay, so yeah, this is really cool. This is the um, hottest one in the middle here. And if you look carefully, try not to slip in here, you can see there's bubbles. Bubbles are popping up there and that's hot. That's, there's actually hot water coming up in the stream. So it's, it's coming in over here. There's a big one there, but in the actual onsen itself, there's, um, I don't know if you can see the hole down there, but you can see there's like hot water coming in there. And then that feeds through over to this one. This one's a bit cooler. And there's like cracks in the rock, but it's actually um, cold water coming up. Which is really interesting. And then there's another one there, which is a little bit deeper and that's hot water as well. And then that just flows out into the ocean. But you have to check the tides, you have to come here at low tide. Oh, lots of bubbles coming up now for some reason. That was weird, there was just a whole, oh there we go. Hopefully that's coming up. There's lots of bubbles coming up. The hot water. Very unique experience. Very nice. They're probably going to go back and check out those turtles, I think. So that was the uh, ocean onsen. Um, you can actually do it naked. Uh, we had some bathers on, but an old local bloke has um, rocked up just as we were getting out. He just stripped off, no worries. And and jumped in the onsen. So if you want to go naked, yes you can.